people are developing bigger, more powerful thrusters that have more gas flowing through them, more power, and so we needed a chamber that could test the next generation of high power EP devices. And so that is why we've built EP3. EP3 is a space simulation facility. It simulates or maintains a good vacuum environment while there is an electric thruster or thrusters operating in it. And these are Hall effect thrusters or gridded ion engines. These devices have to be in vacuum. They cannot get you off the ground. So once the spacecraft is in space, then these devices can kick in and operate. EP3 is an electric propulsion test facility, and so what that means is it is a very large vacuum chamber. What we do is we pump out all of the air and the gas propellant that is in the thruster using these big panels that are all around me. That simulates the vacuum of space as best as we can on the ground anyway. And we operate the thruster in that condition so that we try and replicate the performance and other functionalities that it would have actually in orbit. So we can collect that vital test data so that we know how these thrusters are going to perform before we ever fly them. The pumping system, which is so critical to maintaining that space-like background pressure, is the fastest in the country. So that lets us test bigger thrusters. We also have some unique diagnostics that help us kind of stand apart, like the EMI facility and, of course, the expertise that comes with it. With our new facility, we intend to be able to take higher power thrusters. We do that by having higher temperature performance for the materials constructing the fiberglass chamber, and we also have an improved pumping conductance through the geometry afforded by the conical thrustum that this chamber is. Because of the exponential growth in utilization of electric thrusters, and the need for high mobility in space, these devices are becoming more and more critical. There's also a new generation of devices coming along, so the field is, is continuously changing, and so there's a huge amount of testing and research to be done. Our staff have a strong technical background in all kinds of electric propulsion devices, so it's really the combination of the unique and very capable facility with the very talented people who work with it.